What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JBox Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and of course, ridiculousness. And we're checking out a movie, or I'm finally talking about a movie that is coming out this Friday that I watched all the way back at Sundance earlier this year. It's about time, and it is psychedelic, it's trippy, it's psychological. It's called In the Earth. As the world searches for a cure to a devastating virus, a scientist and park scout venture deep into the woods However, the forest begins to come to life around them. So is this new kind of psychological thriller movie from Neon a must-see this weekend? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you thought of In the Earth. If you've already seen this one at Sundance or somehow already seen it, I don't know how, or looking forward to it this weekend, let me know down there in the comments down below. Now, let's get into some of the good. So this In the Earth movie from Sundance was a unique one. It was one that obviously stuck with me because everything from kind of the world, the lore, the technical aspects, the lighting, the coloring, the music really stuck out to me. And that's the thing that does this movie justice does this movie it's it's best like if you're looking at the attributes what what's good in this movie all that stuff amazing because they instantly kind of usher you into this world of a little bit uneasiness there's there's a lot of questions and the answers slowly trickle in as the movie plays out so i loved how Ben Wheatley, I believe it is, structured this movie of really kind of laying out these breadcrumbs. And while you're starting to find the trail, something completely brushes over those breadcrumbs and you have to mindlessly search through this movie to figure out kind of what is going on. So I liked the way that that was really structured with kind of the lore and where our two main characters of kind of this scientist and this park ranger going off into this forest that again is you know, riddled with these kind of tall tales or these urban legends, essentially, of like, what exactly is going on? Is this safe? Are we really going and finding this, this scientist, this missing scientist, or is there something far more sinister going on here? So I thought that the way that that's all structured, again, juggling kind of the sci-fi aspects, the horror aspects, the psychological thriller aspects I thought really landed for this movie but again the two things that boom boom that really tied this movie together and set it apart from others that I remember at Sundance was the lighting effects the trippy the, almost the cinematography because this has inklings of 2018's Annihilation it gets weird, it gets trippy and whatnot, but the what they do with these visuals of just the darkest pitch black forest and someone running through with a red flare just like that, illuminating the screen, it, it's gorgeous. It's like, damn, that is a good shot. But then it goes into even more kind of trippier aspects throughout the film with kind of some lost style smoke clouds and whatnot and some flashing strobe lights and whatnot. So I guess if you are prone to headaches and migraines from flashing lights, be cautious of this movie because the lighting effects and what they do here for the cinematography is gorgeous. They do a wonderful job of making this kind of horror thriller stuck in the woods type movie look gorgeous but also just right on the edge of unsettling as well because you're like oh god that looks good but oh god that's terrifying over there the personality of this film is shining i think that that's obviously what stands out but complementing that final bit of the movie is the drowning sinister very unsettling dreadful synth score at times again like i compared it earlier to annihilation this does feel like a, a, a dreadful sci-fi stuck in the woods type movie and with this dreadful kind of synth 80s score very reminiscent of stranger things it complements those cinematography scenes i've said it complements kind of the journey that the characters are going on like some of this movie is just visually appealing with drowning dreadful music playing in the background and i think that the person that did the music in this movie is clint mansell and man what they did here is it ramps up those scenes of tension 
of is are, are these characters going to get out of this situation or what exactly is that creepy thing in the the horizon over there in the silhouette of the the sunset or that flare that i said earlier the music again like i said personality it is a bit and piece of that personality from the visuals to the kind of overall tone to the music that really makes this in the earth movie however i'm done just you know doing my thing blowing this movie for all of its technical aspects and really reeling me into this movie the one thing that just is a huge con a huge bugaboo one thing that just didn't work for me is what the hell is this movie about i mean it is visually appealing you can grasp onto a lot of different straws and little plot points here or there and kind of you know interpret it your own way but it's unclear exactly what the message here is is it a pandemic type movie very much resembling or mirroring the real life pandemic that we've been dealing with the last year is it a story of between medicine and the old world remedies and whatnot like which one do you go with scientific advancements or these old style ones and where they clash in the middle or is this one a story of science and art kind of the conflicting things there of watching something interpreting it as you do or is it actually following the scientific method of how these characters really react and kind of uh, solve this this mysterious illness or rock in the woods this ritual type movie and that was the biggest problem for myself is like i love the movie but i hadn't a damn clue what the hell was going on so someone if you figure it out let me know in the comments so maybe i can you know figure things out and connect b to c to z and whatnot because that was the biggest thing much a little bit like a 2018's annihilation it's pretty bonkers at times and i really wanted to know exactly what was going on here i mean if it is that allegory for the pandemic we are in right now i think ugh, it's just like ugh, come on whatever there's more substance to this movie so i don't think it's exactly that but yeah that was the biggest thing of just you had such a good like i said personality to the film but the story was, what the hell is going on? Overall, Ben Wheatley's In the Earth is a trippy sci-fi, holy crap journey. With it again having a great personality of visuals, lore, music all coming together. But with that really big con in my book of not really having a clear message, a clear plot point from A to B to C. And where we go from beginning to end, I'm like, what was the point of this journey? I'd still recommend checking out In the Earth, which is saying a lot here. Because I loved all of the things that I said I liked so so much in this movie if you are able to check it out this weekend recommend it in closing i'm going to give in the earth three out of five strobing bright lights so what did you all think of in the earth did you like it did you hate it were you just as confused as me about that clear-cut message from beginning to end i want to know in the comments down below anyways though as always thank you so much for watching watch more oh no i don't that's not what it is watch more videos up there or watch more videos no that's not it watch more videos up there or watch movies over there you know brand new content every single week here on the jbox studios channel more content coming this week plus i'm going to be going on vacation so maybe a slowdown of a few things follow my social media down there including my tiktok i'm doing some really cool things over there like this video subscribe to the jbox studios channel until next time we'll see you later